Hi, this is Clinton, inviting you to listen to my show, Comedy Forecast, during Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Bat Free originally released March 23rd, 2019. Welcome to Bells in the Bat Free. I'm John Bell, your genial host, and we're preparing to fix all the problems that are wrong here in the basement of the Mutual Audio Network building. We've got, uh, oh my goodness, we got, we got walls to rebuild, we got flooring to fix, we got ceilings coming down, we got to take care of the water problem. <laughs> Who's on the phone? Lex Luther. Lex Luther? Yes, Lex Luther. You know, Superman's arch nemesis. Yes, yes, yes. I know who Lex Luther is. He can't be on the phone, Arnie. He's fictional. Fictional? No, he's on your phone, Mr. Bell. He says he's in an office upstairs. Upstairs? But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it Luther or? Lothar. What's the difference, Mr. Belly's still on the phone and I'm scared. Arnie, if it's Lothar, that means he's one of the Mutual Audio Network members and he works upstairs. So he's the doorman? No, 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 no. He's a big name in audio drama. Uh, Narada Radio Company, Twilight Audio Theater, Blood Noir, Electric Vicuna Productions. And he's got a new show coming up called Dagazion. Oh, so he's like a doctor. Huh? He puts the gauze on. No, no, Dagazion, it's... Well, you'll just have to listen and find out. So he's not the doorman. Just ask him if he's Luther or Lothar. Hold on, I'll check. Excuse me, but are you Luther or Lothar? I said, are you Luther or Lothar? Doesn't sound like a bad connection to me. Look, this, what is your name again? And say it slowly. Oh, Lothar. Okay, excuse me for thinking you're an evil mad genius here, Mr. Lothar. Well, that's your first name. Well, that's even scarier. Anyway, what can we do for you? Uh-huh. 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 Okay, okay, we'll take care of it. Bye-bye. What did Lothar want, Arnie? He said they were having a big fantasy battle or something, and now his rug is all stained. And? Well, apparently he wants it cleaned up. Cleaned up? Oh. <sighs> I've told these people once, I've told them a thousand times, I'm not the janitor. You should probably stop wearing overalls. I'm wearing overalls because this place is a mess. we got to get it cleaned up, which reminds me. Brad? Yes, Mr. Bell, here I am. Do we have a construction crew coming in today? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Good. Who called them? I, I did. did. You, you did. did? What do you mean you, you did? did? I did. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Both of you hired a construction crew? It's starting to look that way, yeah. There's my crew arriving now. Conrad's Construction Consortium. Ah, uh, we're here, ready to get to work. And here comes my group, Dimitri and Sons. We build it. We are ready to get started to be working for you. Wait a minute, we can't afford to have both these groups working for us. we got to decide on one of them. That, that would be, be me. me. Well, this is quite the pickle. Well, there's only one way to fairly choose between these two companies. Mr. Bell. And what would that be? It's America's Got Singing Competition Talent Idol! And we're down to the final two. Let's first hear from Conrad's Construction Consortium. We are fools with tools and all of them are power. We go very slow, for we're paid by the hour. <laughs> Dry wall for the hall and for the offices, plywood, concrete, can't be beat for the floor in dark blue. We do construction, construction per your instructions. instructions. More or less. And now our second finalist, Dimitri and Sons, we build it. Who is going to sing for us? You, Papa, you sing for us. Yes, you do singing, Papa. All right, I sing. Give me hammer. Here is hammer. Three, four. I, I have a hammer. I hammer in nails. I hammer in lots of nails all over the walls. I hammer in plywood. I hammer in two by fours. 
I hammer in walls between the rooms so they'll be separated. Wow! I hammer in nails, 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 nails. I am done now. Congratulations to Dimitri and Sons. We build it. The winners of America's Got Singing Competition Talent Idol thing. Okay, fine. We're done with it. Dimitri, you and your sons get to work. Everybody else, get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's get busy. Oh, Mr. Bell, did I tell you that you have a uh, special guest to interview? No, it would appear that you neglected to tell me that. When will they be here? Uh, he's here now. Now? Yeah, he's, he's in the studio. But who? He's got a really interesting occupation. Uh, here, here's your notes. All right, all right, all right. I'll go in there. I'll take care of this right now. Got to compose myself and be professional. Thank you for your patience, sir. Uh, according to my note here, you have a very unusual occupation, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hector Jedediah. Well, Mr. Jebediah, can you tell us Jedediah. what... Jedediah. I said that. You said Jebediah. It's Jedediah. Oh, Jedediah, not Jebediah. Getting a little tongue-tied there, sonny? Do you mind if I just call you Edgar? I do mind. Why? That's not my name. You just said your name is Edgar. My name is Egder. Egder. Egder Jedediah. And your parents gave you this name? Yep. Deothor and Bedera Jedediah. Okay, well, let's get to your business. Can't do that. Why? I'm stuck here talking to you. I mean, let's talk about your business. Sure, if that's what boats your float. I understand you manufacture dice. No, we don't. You don't? We don't manufacture dice. So your business has nothing to do with dice? Oh, no, no, we're the nation's biggest producer of dice. So you do manufacture dice? No, we don't manufacture dice. But you said... We grow dice. You... Grow dice. Yeah, the biggest dice farm in the country. Okay, we're talking about the same thing, right? I mean, dice where you rattle them and you throw them and you try to get 7 or 11 to win money? You can also play Yahtzee with them. Well, yeah, I understand you can do... Can't lose money playing Yahtzee. Yeah, that's true. Unless you're playing in the professional Yahtzee League. Is there such a thing? How would I know? I'm just a simple dice farmer. What do dice farmers do? We grow dice on our farm. You grow dice. I'm talking about rattle, rattle, throw, 7-Eleven. Is there someone here a little quicker on the uptake I can talk to? How do you grow dice? Yeah, plant dice seeds and they grow. Grow? On vines. Like grapes? Yeah, except square. Okay, you're going to have to tell me this whole process from beginning to end. <sighs> The bees carry the pollen from plant to plant. No, 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 that part I understand. Tell me about the dice growing. In the spring, we plow the fields and plant the dice seeds. Uh-huh. When they ripen, we take them off the vine. How can you tell when they're ripe? You can see the little dots on them. Of course. We take the bunches of dice into the house and carefully separate the dice. And they're already in the shape of cubes? Yeah, except for those dice they use for Dungeons and Dragons, you know, with all the bunches of sides on them. Do you grow those too? No, oh, some hippies down in the valley grow those. We grow traditional square dice. And the dots are already on them? Yeah, we make sure it has the correct number of dots from one to six. And if it doesn't? Then we sell those as special joke dice, you know, the kind that roll seven no matter how many times you roll them. Do you sell a lot of those? My lawyer tells me not to answer that question. Okay, you've picked them off the vine. What do you do next? We let them dry. Dry? Yeah, when they come off the vine, they're still kind of squishy, so instead of rattle, rattle, click, they go blibbly, 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 blah. Nobody would want that. Yes, said it. Once they're dry, we put them in packages and send them out to stores. Uh-huh. Um... Do you grow anything else? Oh, yeah, we make poker chip tubes. Poker chip tubes? Yeah, they kind of look like sausages. We send them out to casinos, and they can slice them up into chips. What do you make these tubes out of? <laughs> if I told you that, you'd never touch a poker chip again. Oh, dear. The clue is in the word chip. I really didn't want to know that. Um, Thank you for coming by and telling us about your very... Interesting occupation. I brought you a present. A present? Yeah, I brought you a bunch of undried dice. Well, look at that. Um, what do I do with these? You can wait till they dry, or you can try rolling them like they are. All right, let me pick two of them off here and rattle them in my hand and throw them. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Well, I told you, next time you're in our neighborhood, come on by and visit our farm. What's your farm called? What else?
Paradise Acres. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you and goodbye. Want a chip tube? No, 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 no. Uh, you know, with all this construction and everything going on, it's it's nice to sit inside this soundproof booth and just be away from everything for a few minutes. Well, obviously, I should have kept my big mouth shut. What in the world is that sound? Why is everything vibrating? I suppose I should go outside the booth and see what's going on. Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, oh my goodness, it's terrible. What, 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 what's going on, Arnie? It's our fax system. Our what now? Our fax system. You're going to have to spell that. H-V-A-C. H-V-A-C, our HVAC system. Yes, our Fax system. So you're talking about our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system? Yes, if you want to get all fancy about it. Well, what's wrong with it? What's right with it? It started shaking and rattling, and now it's pulling itself off of the ground. Look! Oh my gosh, it is. It's it's rising up. I think our fax system has become self-aware. Has anyone thought to call the company that made it? We tried to call Cyberdyne Industries, but nobody's answering their phone. Oh dear. And their voice phone message just laughs. It's it's walking across the floor. It's tearing everything apart. Which actually is sort of an improvement the way things used to be here. Granted, but I don't think this thing is very friendly. Well, what should we do? I think we should take care of this 1950s movie style. The military on full alert sent tanks and trucks and soldiers to the area. This is Gerald Cornplaster. When I get the word, I want you to hit him with everything we've got. Yes, sir. Roger that, sir. There it is. It's coming this way. Let him have it! Sir, it may not be a him. What? It could be a female, sir. Let her have it! No. Let it have it! No, that's just rude. What should I say? The current preferred non-gender pronoun is them. Them? But there's only one of it, her, him, them, they. Still, it's the least offensive choice. So I can't offend it before I kill it? I'm just trying to clarify things, sir. Please call it a them. All right, let them have it! Uh, I think there's only one, sir. Yes, let that one them have it. That sounds grammatically awkward, sir. Look, just shoot at the monster. Oh, no, that's just going too far. What now? You're using an offensive name to pigeonhole them into a certain stereotype. But it is a monster. I think we both know who the monster here is, sir. Sir, should we be shooting at something? Yes, yes, shoot at the large being. Oh, now you're going to make them self-conscious about their body type. Just... Shoot! Oh, uh, we can't, sir. Why not? It's eating all of our artillery and tanks and stuff. Then there's no hope. We're all doomed unless by some miracle. Yes? I'm from Harvey's <laughs> Vac System Repair. I hear you've got a problem. Yes, yes. Right over there. Oh, yeah, that, that's a problem right there. Here, uh, let, me, uh, let me just unplug it here. Let me check inside it here. Well, here's your problem, and nobody to uh, change the filter in a while. You know, you leave these filters get dirty, and uh, you know, all sorts of bad things happen. Well, can you change the filter then? Oh, no, no, that's not a repair job. Uh, that's a maintenance job. It's a job for uh, the janitor. So that means you got to do it. I'll see you later. I'm not the. I'm not the janitor. <sighs> You've been listening to Bells in the Bat Free, episode 216, copyright 2019 by John Bell Creative, LLC. And that's it. I'm calling it a day. Everybody, go home. All right, come on, boys. Bells in the Bat Free is a Quinn Martin production in color on NB... What? Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Bells in the Bat Free is a member of the Mutual Audio Network. In color. Hello? Anybody here? This is Lothar from upstairs. You know, that fantasy battle scene got a bit splattery. And that blood stain on my rug is not going to clean itself. It is so hard to find good help these days. Hi, this is John Bell. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. In my podcast, Bells in the Battery, 
I usually surpass a thousand words. Why does he? But for every episode, there is also a picture. You mean that itty bitty picture that you see when you bring up the episode? Yes, that's called a thumbnail. They're drawn on thumbnails? But now you can see all the thumbnail pictures in large format by going to the Bells in the Bat Free Gallery. Just go online to thebatfree.com. That's T H E B A T F R Y dot com. And click on Gallery. That's G A L L E. I think they can figure that out. You'll see all the pictures for all the episodes that were created by Jeff Music, along with other guest artists like the Lava Lee Brothers and famous animation director Dan Reba. Oh, he knows one celebrity, and he really wants you to know about it. You'll also see lots of fan art over the years and a few surprises so when you're in the mood for a picture instead of a thousand words especially, especially his, his words, words go to thebatfree.com and click on gallery and be sure to clean your thumbnails before viewing